Hello, welcome to the latest Mammoth's cast. Um, yeah, we've got another battle report today. I'm Tom, I'm playing Trolls. I'm Ryan, I'm playing Scorn. And we are recording uh, War Games in Southport, as ever. Um, so I've used this list on the YouTube channel before, you might have seen it. It's Doom Shaper 3 in the Power of Dunia tier. We've got two Maulers, Earthborn, Mulg, a Bouncer and an Axe versus Tier. This is, this is the battle group, sorry. The Full Creel Stone, Dunia Knot, Ten Whelps and a Rune Bearer. Uh, I'm playing Scorn with Xerxes, uh, Bronzeback Titan, Titan Gladiator, and an Agonizer as the battle group, with a Willbreaker, Bloodrunner Master Tormentor, a uh, full unit of Satrati with Tyrant Vorkesh, uh, the Legends of Falak, unit, full unit of Beast Handlers, and a max unit of Praetorian Swordsmen with UA. So, two, two lists that can dish out a lot of damage and take a lot of damage. That will be it. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> yeah, you can see the scenario. I forget, it's called Recon, isn't it? I forget. You can see the scenario. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got Admonition started out on the Mauler that's near the top of the screen. You can see the little upkeep token in front of him there. Um, yeah, so it's a strange one. Literally no guns in either list. No one has a single range attack. So we've got these two lovely bunkers, which again do absolutely zero. <laughs> uh, yeah. When my turn starts my usual turn, uh, the Axes cast Rush on Mulg to keep up with all the other guys, and then everything kind of runs forward. Doomshaper is going to put all his fury in the stone and run because there is nothing going his way. He's going to run into the trench because you're a War Machine player and that's what you do, <laughs> even though there is no reason to at all. Um, trying to get that Earthborn there to get the plus two speed from the difficult terrain for next turn. I'm also I'll put him there as well because I'm liking I can run up next to that house and sit him there at armor 22, which is really good. Bouncer feeling a little bit redundant because he's got not, nothing to shield guard, but he can probably take some high high damage attacks later on. Creelstone follows up. The oh, it's got yeah, the room bear runs over there, and yeah, everything. All support staff just follow up the rest of the army and I pass it over. So I uh, just essentially wanted to move everything up, and apparently take ages to about doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you up keeps where where are they going? Uh, I put defenders ward on the Satrati and randomly put Tactical Supremacy on the Legends of Falak. Just mainly use the Fury, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. And then instantly take it off them. <laughs> uh, and then just move everything up behind the, into the... Is it the trench, is it? Yeah, little into, trench. Into the little Again, trench. you're a war team player. Move into the trench, right? <laughs> I rushed, rushed up the Gladiator, just checking threat ranges, so yeah, not being a noob. Uh, and then I just ran up the Swordsman as well, just to threaten that flank. Yeah, I mean they can do so much damage. Is it five dice damage they can get on your feet? Turn yeah, on with feet their turn, thing? and they've got the UA gives them basic that makes them weapon masters as well, so they can run in at power twelve or power fourteen, five damage dice. So yeah, pretty horrible. This uh, my army specialises in tanking a lot of damage. That's uh, the master tormentor. Thing, yeah, he's trying to be a pain. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. My army just specialises in tanking loads of damage, but that is this army is one that I can't sit there and take. Um, so I'm trying to work out a way of getting rid of him because he, the uh, Master Tormentor will have a field day with my Creelstone unit. Uh, Very IC is sadly out of range of the Axe though, so I'm not going to be doing that. Put down the old uh, threat range marker. Rest in peace, Steamroller 2017. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then, so yeah, it's a pretty standard turn two. I'm looking at not getting in range and killing anything stupid, There's getting killed by anything stupid. Um, but being a good position, position to threaten his objective and the scenario zone for next turn. Um, one thing I have got, of course, is the Mauler with Admonition, so I'm really happy with him running up and getting charged by a Titan or whatever, which Ryan's not so stupid to do, but it, <laughs> it, but it just it obviously forces, it makes Definitely, a difficult yeah. part of the battlefield. Um, also, with this Mulg on Mulg with Dimi gets, um, the last word, Retaliatory Strike, and he has Crit Smite, so there's a good chance with the reroll he's got from the Dooney not, that if Ryan moves one of his Titans in and hits him, I'll be able to hit him back, and then if I get lucky, get the double and smite him away and take no more attacks. So I'm feeling okay about taking some of this. I don't want to take all the infantry hits, so I'm staying out of 10 of all of them, or most of them. I think I've got two of them can get him yeah, Doom. You're not going to use a mini feat for two of them. but um, So I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm not fully committing, but i um, not backing off either. I think I, I also realised at this point that I'd horribly blocked in my Satrati behind the objective. Yes, yeah. Which was per perhaps not the most ideal. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old sweet spot for the uh, the Earthborn within two inches of each, measuring it out. <laughs> there we go. Lovely stuff. 
Uh, the problem is, of course, that the corner of the house kind of blocks me from having a good charge, but I'm, yeah, I like it. The bouncer, yeah, moves up there. He's feeling redundant, but so, yeah, he can he can probably hold the legends for a few turns. He's sitting out armor 21 against them, so yeah, we're good. Um, the Axer, of course, I'm hoping next turn I'll be able to get a nice thresher on those swordsmen, because I, one problem this list really has is dealing with a big clump of infantry. Uh, his Thresher, especially under Doomy's feet with the extra dice for attacks, is one good way of getting rid of them. So I'm Definitely, hoping yeah. they'll, they'll mob in a bit. Other than that, I think I cast Implacability this turn because I don't want to get knocked down or especially slam, ever get slammed by that. Does the Titan have follow-up as well, the Gladiator? He does something I never ever use. It's I really good. I never use slams for some reason. Start but, doing that. Yeah. He is. Well, you can get into silly places. So I was, yeah, I cast Implacability not just for that, but that's a big reason. Yeah. So uh, this is my yeah. second yeah. turn yeah. now. So yeah. I've just apparitioned the Master Tormentor up so I can charge out of the forest. And then I'm just going to ask in Tom all his threat ranges <laughs> hence the pointy finger. And now I think I go into the, into the old tank a bit, just to have just. To, to <laughs> it's the big I'm, turn though, isn't it? It's yeah. deciding where to commit. So. You... I think this is me. I'm just trying to look at the gladiator and think, am I going to get to Mulg? Oh, that's one thing. Yeah, because Mulg also cast his animus last turn, arcane suppression. Yeah, yeah. So Longy doesn't want to. Sorry, Ryan doesn't want to get <laughs> um, yeah, his spell casters with that. Yeah, true. I think that's why I was trying to. I think at some point I tried to get Xerxes over for the, to for, put Rush on the Gladiator rather than oh have yes, to spend it. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, good point. That was yeah. so. The, so the Gladiator doesn't have to spend double to spend to yeah, plus one. But plus yeah. one for Rush area. Yeah. Hence why I'm spending an awful lot of time thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my up to here. Really thinking hard about this by <laughs> the looks of it. <laughs> but you got. I mean, you got to think about yeah. it. If you play a turn wrong, then the game's over. Like, it's always that way with, with the turn where you choose to commit. I think a lot of this was also me trying to figure out how to counteract <laughs> my ridiculous mistake of putting them exactly where I didn't want them to be. <laughs> <laughs> Agonizer comes up and does his screams for minus two strength, oh, ignoring pain, I think it is. So good, that guy. And especially against a list like this, which is all, all combat, all yeah. melee damage output. Yeah, he, I mean, if you, if you tallied up how much damage he prayed across the whole game, it'd oh, be yeah. insane. Yeah, he's, he is a little pain. So I've just. Bunkered up here, and yeah. now I've also blocked him with bronze back, so there'll be no counter charge or anything like that. <laughs> I forgot on. he had counter charge for the whole game. That could have, oh, that could yeah, have been deadly. Well, <laughs> I, I think there's a few chances where he could have used it, but I blocked him in so much here that oh, dear. I'd really done myself a bad. <laughs> it's probably worth saying that Ryan's been playing for how long? Now? A month or something. Only a month, and yeah. uh, from the way he plays this, you will probably not believe that he's got really good, really quick. Um, so I think I've just charged the. Master Tormentor into. Is it? There's a rune bearer and rune there's, a, there's, a little, there's a little whelp sitting behind there as well. And there's you, William the whelp sitting at the I roll, back there. Roll a tough check that I know could have had because I didn't really get that in a position. Yeah. It's and sprint then I up. sprint away back through the thingy. Ready, through the ready, ready for next turn. That forest is really the dream, the dream placement for him, isn't it? Yeah. So here's what I pondered upon before because I wanted to charge. Is it the Mauler? Yeah, no, that's Mauler with the big staff. Yeah, I went yeah. for Mauler because of, of admonition, so I didn't want the Mauler to just run off from me. Yeah. But then I also forgot that he had retaliatory strike and it could bounce me back if if it goes well. Yeah. Although I rolled and I used my duty not to re-roll the puppet strings and I, I did hit, but I didn't get the crit, yeah, unfortunately. I think you get about six, seven boxes in you or something Yeah, like that. which on a heavy is not enough to take out an aspect. Really, I wanted the crit, but yeah. you know, you've got about one in three of getting it, I think, roughly. So I'm basically just trying to go to town on mold here. Which you did a good job of. Um, I've not got my feet up for anything. He is armor 21, though, so... No, I think I'd sent the... B Sandler's to give him plus two strength, so he's hitting at yeah. power 18, power 17 with the toss. But mm. so I think I've fully loaded him up on full four, four fury here, but it doesn't quite isn't quite enough. Yeah, I think you left me on maybe eight, ten boxes, something around there. Yeah. So, so now I'm sending in the swordsman to try yeah. and. Thankfully, I don't think I, neither the swordsman could actually charge him. Could there? there's two? What you can't see there's two whelps there that I spawned. Um, There's a lot from... of me th trying to kill my gladiator <laughs> off here as well. Uh, yeah. In classic fashion because of the flag. <laughs> flag, tusks, big hands, he's got the whole lot. But yeah, yeah. there's two little whelps down there that you can't see. Yeah, they're what the swords have actually charged. And then these guys are just running to basically just to get in the way. Mm -hmm. Or try and get in the way and stop getting yeah. charges on this atrocity. But again, the position they're in there means my axe. Uh, he can probably get a few if you've you got the thresher, but yeah. it's... Uh, I think it missed, missed as well that the Willbreaker has probably has put tough on the swordsman as well. Yeah. Just for that extra little bit of survivability. For a cheap unit, they they really do bring it all. That's such a great unit. So, oh yeah, you did get... Um, I killed the whelp and sidestepped round, which is part of the UA's um, 
tactics, I think it is. Yeah. Then, so uh, is the legends charging the? This the was bouncer, ridiculous. I don't know how we'll be able to make out the pips on Longy on Ryan's dice here as uh, he rolls the damage. Oh, we might be able to. Yeah. Oh, you got those. Oh, I should start using those big dice. You can really see them a lot better yeah, than yeah, my yeah. little orange ones. And uh, but yeah, <laughs> so, so there we go. <laughs> Six is for days. Uh, oh, I'm a twenty-one beast. No, I don't really care, mate. Just uh, yeah, have some more. Have some more sixes. Just, just off uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, have some sixes. <laughs> Do you like sixes, little bouncer? How'd you? Uh, dead. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> insane. I was there, like, oh, they'll be feasting on him for two or three turns. Hell no, dead. Yeah, no, I made a bit of a mistake here. I think I probably should have sidestepped the legends back into base to base for the extra plus two defense. Oh, right, oh, yeah, so I, when, I didn't so really add that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So then there'd have been Defence 16, which would have made it harder for the... Uh, is yeah. it the Earthborn? He's the Earthborn, yeah. Earthborn to hit them. Mm. So that would have been good, I didn't realise they had that. Tom's t- th- turn three, is Yeah, it? so, I mean, this turn is pretty easy. I mean, what one big thing I'm seeing is that those guys, the swordsmen are all lined up neatly behind the... Um, what's his name, the... Big elephant. Gladiator. The gladiator, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, who doesn't like a bit of temp and bowling is what I was that, thinking. So. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, so Mold's looking at doing that. That's quite tasty. I'll be getting the extra dice. It's my feet turn, so I'm getting the extra dice to hit. So I've got a really good chance of doing that. I've put a reroll on him as well. So if I boost four dice, it's, yeah, very likely. Um, I'll use the scroll. Let's use my anime for free this turn. I'm contemplating... Uh, oh, unminding on the, uh, the bronze back. I think it's what I was good, but then I was maybe just out of range. I didn't want to move too far, too far forwards, as I remember. Uh, I've got implacability up again, and I might have thrown a rage out onto the Earthborn or something. Maybe, I don't know. I think so, yeah. Uh, don't you pop oh. the, you use the scroll so everyone gets the answer? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that would be a So yeah. I think everyone's popping rage. And yeah, every, every, everyone is raging. But those um, Satrati are armor 24 this turn? Yeah, they're uh, Defender's Ward and, ba- and Shield Wall 22, and the Agonizer's throwing a plus minus two strim, so they're at tw- armor 24 effectively at the moment. Pretty ridiculous. So And they're tough and steady as well, thanks to Vorkesh. So. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> they're a really good unit. Um, yeah, so at this point, Mulg is hitting the Gladiator. Um, I think I hit him like three times and they get a double, and we're on three dice, so that's kind of unlucky. You've got about 50 50 chance. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, but eventually I do get it and I send him back five whole inches, which is really nice. And I think he clips about seven of the swordsmen. Yeah, he goes for the old. And for bonus points, I actually killed him with the attack that I slammed him with as well. Indeed. So, and I got to heal because I take a lot of damage. So, I also realised during this turn that I'd been marking my sheets with permanent marker rather than a dry wipe marker, <laughs> which I keep <laughs> forgetting to remove from my case. So, but, um, so I, I healed a bit for killing him. I think I bought another attack on one of the swordsmen maybe and healed him. I healed D3 because of hyper regeneration which is all the time under Doomy 3 so he's not, he's about half dead now he's, he's healed a surprising amount yeah. maybe, maybe a bit less than half dead this was the start of me wondering how many things am I about to lose in this turn <laughs> after four swordsmen get killed from a gladiator, gladiator landing on top of them yeah oh, you got two tough checks it I did get two yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad but yeah. so yeah this, I'm hoping the mauler at power 20 with rage and the creel stone is going to be enough. He's still trying to kill us, obviously. And I can't remember. I think did I? Did I he... think you pick two of these guys off. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least definitely got one. Uh, some frantic dice from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So he yeah, kills so a couple. He pops off two. Yeah. Which apparently is a feat no one's really managed to do. Kill two of them in one activation. Yeah, so uh... in the in the three games we've used up to now, it's just either people ignore them or walk up to them and bounce off them repeatedly so yeah. that, I was a bit shocked to see two of them just <laughs> drop like that I was like Ugh. I was considering trampling with the other mauler to try and get out another one out but the the positioning wouldn't quite get me there unfortunately so the axe moves up and does a thresher um, I think I'd probably kill both those guys yeah, yeah. I think do I tough? You buy, you buy tough, yeah. Oh, I tough and then you buy do you buy another one yeah that sounds about right knock him out. so I'll clear that up a little bit um because I don't really want a lot of guys standing around Mulg. I decided, I decided not to char- not to trample, and I just tried to kill some of these guys. Cause I'm thinking, I don't want a load of people running in hitting Mulg. I don't want him to die next turn, really. Um, anything that does hit him, there's nothing really high power, so I'll be healing D3 plus 3 each time. Yeah. Um, and why not clear up some of these guys? So that's pretty much the entirety of the swordsman <laughs> unit. Yeah, there's still, the, there's still the UA sitting there at the back. Yeah, there's the UAs there, and one there's one guy knocked down, I think. Yeah. So yeah. there's two out of the 12 left, which... Wasn't ideal. No. Bit of a shame for the Earthborn to have to do this, but he's going to try and run in and uh, kill the 
these guys. Um, again, they've got a reasonable defense, so you're doing on the feet turn to get the extra dice to hit is, yeah, that does help Earl quite a lot. Yeah. I think he does. I think he kills all three. He kills all three. I think I used your death with the reach to do... Uh, yeah, he did. He did an annoying strike. amount of damage on him. <laughs> and in the classic fashion in this in this game, I rolled quite high. Yeah, I mean, I heal back D3 plus three of it because yeah. he's doing his feet, but um, yeah, he's yeah, annoying. So, yeah, your, your turn, then. What are you Listen, thinking? Uh, I'm basically going, ow. <laughs> Lots of things have died. I was disappointed with that turn. I was like, things, a lot more things normally die on Doomy's feet turn. But, yeah. yeah, true. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm basically just trying to... I didn't realise at this point that they had sack porn, is it? Yeah, oh, the Creel Stone. Yeah. Stone. I thought I think I'm going to get rid of that. Charged, but yeah, yeah, he told me before I charged, so I thought, I'll yeah. go in and see if I can pip a few boxes on the objective. Yeah, I think you got, then, you got five on it. Yeah, look at that dice again. Yeah. <laughs> the whole game <laughs> was disgusting. Uh, uh, I killed one on sack form and then realised that that didn't count as me killing it, so I wasn't able to run away. Mm. So he's just sort of there now. The hunter becomes the hunter. There's a troll back line. Indeed. Start getting their axes out of there. Jeez. So now I'm trying to figure out what on earth to do here. I can't actually remember. I think I spent a lot of time thinking again. Mm. I mean, I suppose you're looking at you've got all these weapon masters and that bronze back, and you're probably hoping you can kill. Yeah, I think I try and move over with the Satrati enough to leave yeah. a gap for the yeah. bronze back to oh, get through so on yeah, the mauler. That triggers admonition over there, sorry, as well. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I'm just moving the Satrati over, and then I realised that I wanted feet, so Tom very kindly <laughs> lets me activate Xerxes. Yeah, like it's a three-month trial period, and yeah. then uh, that's it. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're a really friendly group. We always, we always let each other off and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't, you know, you don't want to win the game because you forgot to feed. So, so I basically just move them there and pop feet. Mm -hmm. I think I give. I also give them the plus two for your first melee attack damage rolls for his battle plan. But they're weapon masters anyway, so they're going to be rolling yeah. four dice at power eleven, I think. So it's essentially power thirteen. Which I think <laughs> that was 45 chocolate eggs in a box, which uh, one of the friendly Malifaux players kindly <laughs> brought over and gave us all some chocolate eggs. Uh, yeah, felt we should get on the stream because it was so ridiculous. Yeah. So carry on. The important thing to have at this point, totally, totally knocked your flow there with those eggs. It did, yeah. So I'm just trying to <laughs> damage this mauler here and getting some ridiculous dice there as well. There's, there's two sixes and a four for damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think they quite managed to kill it, but they've they have opened up a gap for the bronze back to come through. Um, yeah. um, I did play some whelps there, hoping to keep the bronze back out, but I didn't play some quite. I, if I'd played them properly, I could have totally kept him out. Yeah, really there good, was just enough. There's just enough room. Just enough room to get through to try and take its head off. Yeah. Which um, there is some more nice rolling. <laughs> uh, I mean, he, this even under. So even even with Doomy's feet, he was still definitely going down to a bronze back with the range yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, the, bron so. the bronze back for me has been pretty he, destructive. He just takes out Colossals for fun, so I thought he's going to really have is. no trouble taking out that, that mauler. Where are we up to now, then? This is Tom jesting about my ridiculous dice rolls, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> T talking about ridiculous dice rolls, what's going to happen now? Are you gonna... I think it's a ridiculous dice roll. <laughs> yeah, um, just, uh, just a couple of swordsmen. Yeah, why, why not? Uh, Morg about half health. Yeah, that's, this, this is going to be fine. I've got, got the feet up and everything. Um, only one charge attack on him. I wonder what's going to happen. Hey, well, he hits. He hits. He's got Because he popped mini feet as well, so he's got five attacks. Yeah. Yeah, that that's happened. Two sixes, five, four, and two. <laughs> Dead. So, uh, the exact number of boxes I needed. It was, yeah, and the perfect a, box. Caused a real problem for me. Like, this, yeah, I'm not used to taking this many beasts off my other table under feet turn, and I'm pretty sad about it. I, on the other hand, was pretty happy about it. <laughs> Understandably, right? <laughs> rightly so. Who'd have thought? <laughs> I mean, even so, start the turn. So I'm trying. I'm wondering if the Earthborn can just walk around and hit the um, the Bronze back because I want to put Rage on him because otherwise he's going to bounce off it. I've got the distance from the. So some Muse on mini base steppers there. I can really recommend them. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got the plus two movement from the Forest, but unfortunately, it's still about about half an inch. I don't want to put Rush on him because I can't have Rage and they're going to be hitting him with power sixteen, and he's not going to be bothered. What I do realise though is that I can cast Unminding on him to give him minus two Fury, and then throw him so he'll be knocked down. Um, so he has to be one to get up, and then he can only buy, he can charge for free, but he can only buy two more attacks. And yeah. so I'm thinking that's pretty reasonable. Um, so I, I think that's how I decided to go ahead. Those little wooden beads I'm putting out, wooden beads, yeah, wooden beads, wooden circles are puppet strength markers. So yeah, I'm hoping the Mola can maybe kill another couple of the Satrati, and I can throw the bronze back out, and he can be another day's problem. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just hopefully try and attrition it out. Yeah, the Creelstone units do go in, and they get really lucky, and they do manage to kill that uh, Mastomage with their second attack. 
Hooray! Oh, That's we're going here. Of course, the problem with stranglehold is that sorry, not stranglehold. Unminding is that you, if you miss, doom shapers within a, <laughs> ten inches of a. Uh, bronze back and that's not great. I did use the scroll that gives me an extra dice and drop the higher, drop the lowest on on my warriors attack rolls. So, oh, and I had a reroll as well, and I so I needed the five on three dice, and I missed the first one. I had to reroll. Yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, and that's <laughs> as good as my dice were. Yeah, I dice were oh. equally terrible in this yeah, game. Yeah, they were terrible. Uh, but I did get it eventually, so he's now only Fury three. Only Fury three. <laughs> uh, Moller walks in, does a bit of damage. Can't remember how much now. I think he might kill two. Possibly again. Mm. So one, these were under feet as well. So they were armor. <laughs> they were armor twenty four. Oh, this army so annoying. <laughs> and, the, and the agonizer as well was at minus two strength to everyone within eight. So they were essentially armor twenty six at this point. Yeah. Tough, steady. Can't be targeted by spells, but yeah. Watch well, so it I uh, I did end up casting rush on the other one. I just remembered. I ended up casting rush, and I thought, yeah. So I'll get that's how I get the blind throw in. Oh, sorry, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, before. yeah, um yeah, that, that unit's Atratia, unbelievable on his feet turn. And Defenders Ward annoying because I have rebuke, so normally I'm like, haha, Defenders Ward, I don't care. But they're spell warded, so <laughs> they haven't what, done that. What yeah, what do you do about that? They really good. Really good unit. Um I think you killed two of them with the Marlin, didn't you by the looks of it? Yeah, I think there's a couple left now. This axe comes in as a thresher, and I think yeah, because he's out of shield wall now, so he's still a really great armor, but not quite as good. Yeah, he's I think he's armor eighty, and so that was him toughing that. Yeah, and me put is that the one where I put a knockdown table token on you just flicked it away? Was I think later? I did. I think I was <laughs> nah, later. Like, nah, steady. Nah, steady mate. <laughs> 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 Do I eventually buy a buy I'll buy some more attacks and kill him. Maybe, no, maybe, did he survive it? I think he might survive oh, it. Yeah, you know, pretty survivable. Mm, oh, no, there we go. I, I did go. go. Yeah. Good, good times. <laughs> Still low. Ugh. Yeah, so that's just left me with one, one Satrati and Vorkesh at the moment mm. in that unit. So I'm looking pretty thin. Yeah, I've got a lot of fury one. on the board. I think all but one of my beasts to max out. Are they, uh, oh, yeah, I think the Maulers maybe on four. So, I know. As well, I'm running out of whelps. Is, you can see all the whelps <laughs> in the dead pile over there. I think I've got one left to put on the board, and that never happens. You always, I usually end a game of four or five. Ah, so, so. here I was trying, because Tom had left Doomy uh, within yeah. ten of Xerxes. So I was hoping to stand the bronze back up. I, yeah, I forgot you could stand him up and then use the pain givers to get rid then of Then use the pain givers to get rid of the fury, so he'd have three fury, go in kill the Earthborn, which would free up a charge lane for Xerxes, and the master plan was to go through <laughs> and take his head off. Mm. However, it doesn't quite work <laughs> in that Tom puts a lot of whelps out, yeah. and I leave the Earthborn on one pot. One yeah, you it. missed a couple of attacks, and I yeah. think mostly because of the whelps there. So I got, yeah, I guess the dice came back around for me. That was nice. And yeah, unlike all the other times where you've been pipping my beast with super high dice rolls. Um, the one time I really needed it. You leave him on one. Yeah, I left him on one, which was then... I also sort of forgot about the whelps as well. So I, I suppose, I yeah, you can't see it. There is a whelp behind the building yeah, there. Yeah, I think you can't really three see. at this point now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it wouldn't have been. It would have been hard. You maybe would have been able to kill them with, oh, with pain givers and things like that. But it's getting, yeah, possibly, getting sloppy yeah. at this point, I suppose. So that was, that was the end to that sort of... Assassination run, which I think is probably my only real way of winning at this point because I'm so far down on, on attrition. I was just trying to think, how can yeah. I get to Doom in? It somehow doesn't feel like that though against this list because you've, oh, you've only got two of that unit, but they are, they are unkillable and they kill anything. And you've still got that bronze back lying around and oh, all these horrible things. So, so I think I'm just moving this, the Vorkesh and the Satrati in again. So the Satrati trying to, pop, trying to kill the Earthborn the here? The Mauler, I think they were going for. Oh, no, oh yeah, of course, yeah, that's yeah, it. I, I they they tried to finish off the Earthborn, yeah. yeah. And I had, he only had one point left, and I still couldn't manage to get rid of him with the Satrati and Vorkesh. What we realised next turn was... That, oh, no, what, oh, sorry, no, it's next turn, the pain you could have gone in. It's not now, so I ignore me. I think the pain, <laughs> I think the pain givers could have gone in and just taken the two off without any precision, but they were already activated. Yeah, to, they have uh, at this point, yeah. To get the bronze back up. So, yeah, that couldn't have happened. So now I'm thinking... Can I run over onto that flag? <laughs> so I think I put tactical supremacy on on Xerxes here, and I give yeah. his battle plan of plus two speed for a full advance, so I can move ten inches. Which in theory, actually thinking about it, I could have just ran ten inches, so that was a waste of time, really. Yes, I suppose it was, wasn't it? Was yeah. lot, it was an awful lot of faffing <laughs> to get the same amount. Of <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. I watched you do it. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Good plan, yeah. Yeah. Nope. No actual, <laughs> just a genius idiot is what they call uh, me. <laughs> so there was me scrolling through, going, oh yeah, I can do this. 
Still doesn't get me in base to base or anything, so it was pretty pointless anyway. Yeah. I mean, at least you've got tax supremacy on yourself the next turn if it comes up. It's yeah. marginally better. If you had nothing else to do with the Fury, it's marginally better. Suppose. Well, we'll see, yeah. Of course, now this turn for me, I'm like, right, there's a problem. He's right there. But if I strangle hold him and walk away, that's fine. He can defense 11. He's got reasonable armor, but I can put a reel on myself. This is all great. I walk away. He can contest the flag. He can, like, he can, he can stand on the flag, but I can contest it. The scroll bearer is going to use his last scroll this turn. So, you know, I can then send him up to contest because I don't need him anymore. He's got an empty tube of scrolls. No, I don't need you. Um, well, yeah, so that's what I'm going for now. Um, this turn, there was this turn I used to scroll the scroll of giving me a drop dice on all my attacks. So I'm needing sixes, drop the highest, and I fluff it. But that's okay, I reroll, and I just about get it. And then I boost the damage and I roll like two ones and a two, and it bounces off him. I'm like, oh shit, he's not trying to hold. Uh, let's move ten and a half inches away because otherwise I'm going to lose the game. <laughs> I cast Rage on that Mauler as well, I think, just because I want the efficiency. And then remember, I wanted him to contest. Good times. I'm feeling very, very safe. Um, and then the other rest of it, it's just kind of mopping up, really. I realise that the Axer can go and take out that Agonizer, and that's going to help the rest of my attacks quite a lot. Um, running these guys up just to gum because I don't really need this many of them alive anymore, and they're just wasting space at the back of the board. Yeah, I think you moved them forwards in front of Doomy at first and then realised that Zerk just overtake. <laughs> yes, yes, that was it. So I was thinking, oh, I hope he leaves that there. And I'm going <laughs> to kill it, overtake, and then, then also try and take <sighs> Doomy's head off. But yeah, that, well, that would have been Tom a... quickly asked, does he have overtake? To which I replied, <laughs> yeah. Scooped him back. <laughs> so, so back they went. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's happening now? Um, I think the more, oh, the more the casts rage on the Earthborn, so I think they both have rage up at this point and then just starts getting the killing done. What I should have done, of course, is just cast Admonition on Doomshaper, and then whichever clever way he wants to get around, I could just move three inches, but yeah. late game thinking, you don't go, oh, I've got the perfect out for this situation. So I think this is the end. That... <laughs> there we go. Get that shit away from me. <laughs> that was Tom putting a uh, knockdown token on my... On Vokesh himself. On Vokesh. Get off me, son. No, he wasn't having it. <laughs> he still meets, his, meets the maker with the mauler. Yeah, so then, yeah, the axe goes in and does... Does a, a thresher. I think, yeah, he this activation, he, he gets the box down to two. Down points? to two, I think. Nice extra attack on it. Kills the agonizer and kills the last remaining guy who's no longer in shield wall because he's by himself. Yeah. Which also takes me entirely out of that objective. So he had rage on him. Maybe the Mauler didn't have rage on him. I forget. Yeah, I don't, think the Mauler, I don't think the Mauler did. No, no. that sounds about right. Um, yeah, so I finally killed a little baby elephant and I've never felt so glad about <laughs> killing a Poor baby old animal. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, so what's left to do now is the Earthborn. Um, it's going to take some chunks out of the yeah. bronze back, I think. Yeah. I can't remember. I think it, I think I think it kills it. Kill it. I think yeah. you leave me on the, my last turn with yeah. six beast handlers and Xerxes to yeah. go to town on people. That's it. Yeah, yeah, of course. The Earthborn is down to one box, but then Hyper I got two of them back, so he's fully operational without having to spend yeah. any fury, which was really helpful. Oh, there is the wheel breaker I've got just above my phone sitting in a cloud <laughs> having a wonderful time wondering if he should give tough to the uh, the beast handlers because that's <laughs> all he can do now he used to have puppet strings but that's how they I think he still does does it? if you went that entire game without using puppet strings he's got puppet master that's what it is yeah that's really good that's what the uh, the thing you, the do you not have ah right yeah no you want to start doing that a lot <laughs> wow I didn't realize he still had that yeah oh. I th I just get carried away and use him for giving the swordsman tough. It's but... it's great, but late game it's a really solid, a really solid piece. So this is me now trying to think. I've pretty much lost the game. Yeah. So can I somehow get Doomy with Xerxes? And I think I end up charging the scroll. Yeah. Because in... what you you were saying you were out, and I was like, I've seen something here. He's a new player, I'll tell him. <laughs> so I was thinking, can you, yeah, can you charge the scroll? But I thought overtake was two was the pro two inch move was the problem. Yeah. So I thought you could charge just about charge the scroll bearer, get then move your movement and get because he he's within four of um of Doomy. That's like yeah, you can get that. Go within four. We do it, then re then realize that overtake's only a one inch move. Yeah, it's not so. sidestep as the two, isn't it? Yeah. So, but at this point, it was it was that or nothing. So yeah, yeah. I just sat on my fury. For no reason, again. Yeah, no transfers left, unfortunately. Kill off that guy, overtake one, and then I'm like, meh. And then tactical supremacy comes. <laughs> it does come back. It comes that's, back. That's why you didn't run last turn. Um, 
and I just pop him right in Doomy's face and go, now nah, you've got to kill me, and if you don't, then I'll probably turn around and kill you. But yeah. I think we... S- I also probably should have sent the, the beast handlers in at this point. Yeah, you just ran them in. I ran them in. Thought. And I didn't think to charge, because the... Earthborn has two, two damage. points. In fact, I should have healed D3, because I could have eaten the bronze back after yeah. that. But yeah, even so, he would have had maybe three or four, so he probably could have killed him. And I could have just anatomical precisioned him and just popped off the points. Yeah. And killed that wealth as well, which I which I eat now for yeah. getting the fury. But I just didn't think either um, at the time. So, that was a bit of a new move for me, but I hopefully won't make that one again. But yeah. I still don't really think it makes a great deal of difference on the actual outcome of what's about no. that. But I do think, end of the game though, it's like the same with the Creel Stain unit, you have to, re- you, to, to get the most out, like, you have to find all the uses for your units that no longer have a use. Yeah. And I think when you start doing that, leveraging those extra attacks you get, especially when they're anatomic precision, you can get a lot done. Um, so this time I'm thinking, right, doomy has got crit smite, I can just buy a load of attacks, smite Xerxes away, he's got no defense then, and everyone can just pile on him and like block him in and kill him. Um, my dice once again. <laughs> they were dead good, Tom, weren't they? Uh, they weren't great. I got a couple of okay <laughs> rolls to hit, but uh, he's only about five as well because he's, well, a wizard and his weapon is a bit of rock tied to a stick. <laughs> so I don't manage to smite my way. And, and again, I could have just camped a lot of fury, but I have end of game brain and I'm like, no, this is the best way forwards. Hitting Xerxes with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I did no damage I think you to him. You hit, didn't you, both times? But I, I bought three or four attacks and d- didn't do any no, damage to him. Yeah, but I do walk over with the Mauler now, and when Maulers get to cast us, even if they are Xerxes, yeah. the game ends pretty quick. Yeah. I probably realised I should have put Defender's Ward on him. Yeah, would have been. Whether been that would have made a massive difference here, I. Don't think it would, but probably not overall. But I mean, it it, it could well have done if things got a bit different. So I think I think you take a free strike from one of the beast handlers by moving away, and I pop a point of fury on you. Yes, that was could, it. Yeah, which could have helped if I had defenders ward. It might have made a slight difference, but I I don't I don't think it would have made a huge difference yeah. really. But yeah, this was I mean you can't see our clocks, but I think at this point I was down to six minutes. You're down to about twelve minutes. But yeah, yeah that's yeah, the end of the game. The mauler does eat um eats so yeah, really fun game though. Tough, grindy, it's both a armies grind, yeah. really take a hit. Uh, really fun, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, again, thanks for watching as always. Uh, again, quite a few views, getting up to like 150, 200 views on yeah. our videos now, which is really good. I mean, we thought that it would be our gaming group of about 15 people watching them, so <laughs> I'm glad you joined them. As always, do comment, let us know how we can improve them. Uh, if there's any matchups you'd like to see, even any cast you'd like to see us play. Uh, but apart from that, until next time, thank you. Yeah, thanks very much.